mics in the kitchen cooking red fish on frog legs in the fryer swordfish backstrap the breast oh yeah throw it all on the fire out in the sportsman's paradise Louisiana hey welcome to this week's edition of chefs of rod and reel hey it's that time of year again and today we're gonna make pumpkin soup and it's gonna be great we're gonna have some seafood in it we're gonna put some crawfish and some heavy cream so we keep the calories low and we're going to use this little pumpkin as our serving dish so stay tuned who says chefs of rod and reel can't be cute okay we're going to start off with two sticks of butter in our pre preheated pot here and two cups of pre-chopped onions or you can chop them yourself if you like now the, these I want you to look at this celery. Now, when you're going to chop something, you want to do a great job. And I have to tell you that Gino chopped this celery. Now, look at that celery. That's great chopping there. So, two cups of chopped celery and a half a cup of garlic. Okay? Now, let me show you one of the main ingredients here. This is fresh pumpkin that we've boiled. And it's nice and soft. And the bright orange in there is two sweet potatoes. Uh, I added that because it sounded good. We'll find out. But anyway, two sweet potatoes and some pumpkin, and we're going to measure it in a minute uh, before we put it in and get everything right. So as we speak, we're now going to saute our vegetables in our butter mixture here until they get translucent, which will take about 10 minutes. And um, so as I stir, uh, we'll let you go about your business, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, we've been stirring our vegetables for about two minutes now. And as you can see, well, actually, probably four minutes. And as you can see, they're translucent. So now we're going to add a cup of flour. And we're going to stir that for a couple of minutes to incorporate the flour. Yeah, this is kind of like a reverse roux in a way. We're not after a real dark roux, but we're after some thickness. And uh, we want to cook it long enough so that the flour doesn't taste raw, it tastes cooked. So it's, it's real important to keep stirring it because the pot's pretty hot and we don't want it to burn. And we'll just keep on stirring. And then we'll be back for our next step. Here's a surprise ingredient. I guess it's pronounced steens, I'm not sure, but it's pure cane syrup and it's made in Abbeville, Louisiana. And we're gonna add what's left in this jar, which is not a lot, um, probably about two tablespoons to this mixture. And I bet you wouldn't have guessed that. All right. And next, we're going to add in our pumpkin and our two sweet potatoes and we're going to add in our chicken stock. Now, I just recently started doing this. I don't buy chicken stock anymore. I buy a chicken and I boil it or slow boil it for two hours and that way I get my chicken stock, which in this case I'm putting in eight cups. Uh, I get my chicken stock, and later on I get to pick the chicken and eat it, and it costs about the same as buying a chicken stock. So I get better chicken stock, and I get the benefit of having a chicken. So we're going um, to get this going here, and uh, we're going to use the immersion blender next. been cooking a while and I'm continuing to blend it it's really getting smooth now and one thing you'll notice is when you first start to blend it if you taste it it tastes a little drab there's not a lot going on but as it continues to cook uh, the flavor starts to come out so don't get too carried away early on but after it's been simmering for a while then you can start to add a little salt and a little pepper to start to amplify that flavor and if you want a little more kick to it uh, you can add some Tabasco Louisiana another Louisiana product Louisiana Tabasco. We're going to put a little bit of that in there for kick. And we'll put a little more, like Justin Wilson used to do, just because we like it. All right, and then we'll blend it a little bit more. All right, well, we're almost done, folks. Next, next we're going to add our crawfish tails. And they're certified Cajun. They're from Louisiana. That's all we use is Louisiana products. 
if it comes from Louisiana, we get it from Louisiana. So we're going to put two pounds of crawfish tails along with all the fat. Last ingredient before we serve it, are two cups of corn. To be honest with you, with the quantity we made, if I had four cups, I'd put four. So anyway, we have two cups of corn in here. We have two pounds of crawfish, Louisiana crawfish. Just gave it a little taste test. It's tasting good. So we're going to let it cook a little bit with the crawfish in it. Not too long. We don't want them to get soft. But we, wanted, we do want to incorporate some flavor and, and uh, between the crawfish and the fat. And then we're going to serve it up in our little pumpkin here. The cameraman has a pumpkin seed on his shirt. That's Gino the G-Man with a pumpkin seed. He thinks I'm kidding, but he does. Okay. All right, we're going to add our last two ingredients before serving, one of which is parsley, finely chopped by Gino to G-Man, and a cup and a half of heavy cream, just so we keep the calories down. What I mean by that is we could have put three cups. Ah, oh. All right, folks. That's it's done. And we're going to try to ladle it up without making a big, giant mess. And that I don't guarantee. Probably have to do a little cleaning up afterwards, but we got black plate, orange pumpkin. Good soup. My wife Allison tasted it, she gave us the go-ahead. So it's pretty good. So. And then we'll finish it off with our <coughs> green onions on top. And there folks you have Louisiana pumpkin soup with crawfish and a fair amount of garlic. So, there we go. Okay, folks, here you have it. Louisiana pumpkin soup with Louisiana crawfish and Louisiana pumpkin. Uh, hope you enjoy it. And I do want to say one more thing before I go. I have on a CCA hat. I love the CCA hat and long live the CCA.